DataVail data masking software provides a rich feature set with an elegant and flexible architecture and high performance. It was designed from the ground up to be simple, intuitive and very easy to use. In fact, since the start of this video, we have already reviewed a sensitive column, configured a mask, run the masking project and generated the detailed masking report, saved together with a copy of the project that actually performed the masking. DataVal is static data masking software. This means it will permanently overwrite sensitive data with fictitious data so that the database is no longer sensitive and can then be safely used in non-secure environments. In this demo, we'll show several of DataVal's features and benefits, followed by some additional information and resources. First, let's review how easy it is to configure a mask. Looking at the integrated data browser, we can see that employer name contains sensitive data. So let's mask this column. We just select the column, right click, and choose an appropriate mask. Here we'll use the company name mask and accept the default parameters. And that's all it takes to create a mask. To perform the mask, we just click on the run button and confirm that we want to proceed. And the data is masked. We can even see the before and after masked values in the integrated data browser. DataVal is very easy to use, which means users can become productive very quickly. Many masks provide realistic data, which increases the usefulness of the masked data. A common question we get is whether DataVal supports consistent masking. For example, if Smith is masked to Bancroft, then can Smith be always masked to Bancroft? And the answer is yes. This is known as deterministic masking. In fact, DataVal supports both deterministic and non-deterministic masking. As you can see in the data browser, there are two rows here that contain Smith, and they have both been masked to Bancroft. Similarly, in the first name column, both instances of John have been masked to Zachary. Therefore, when deterministic masking is used, the same masked values shall be generated repeatedly for the same original values wherever and whenever they are masked, provided they have the same deterministic settings. This will be true when masking multiple databases across multiple servers, even if the masking projects are run at different times. Today, tomorrow, next year, it doesn't matter. They will always be consistent. Being able to preserve the format of every individual value is a very powerful feature, and many of the masks in DataVal support this. For example, suppose we have a social security number whose format is supposed to be dash separated. However, in production it was reported that some social security related functions were misbehaving and it wasn't clear why. So it was decided to move a copy of the production database into a development test environment so that technical support could investigate. However, first, the social security numbers need to be masked before we can give access to the developers. And this is where format preserving masks can make all the difference. These will preserve the exact format of every individual value, and it will also preserve invalid values such as out of range values. We can see that each individual value has had its original format preserved dash separated as in each original value, and with blanks or other characters as in each original value. Also note that a valid social security number cannot begin with three zeros, and so DataVal recognized this as an invalid value and preserved it. Clearly, as in this example, format preserving masks can preserve critical properties of the original data that would otherwise be lost. Many of the DataVal masks enable partial masking, or to put it another way, to preserve some parts of an original value and to mask the rest. This can be useful for many reasons. It can help the user correlate data using small portions of original data, such as phone number area codes, domain names, or as we'll see in this example, it could be credit card prefixes. By preserving the first six digits, we automatically preserve the exact statistical distribution of card issuers in our database, which may be very useful for our application's behavior. Notice that this mask is also a format preserving mask that preserves the format of every individual value. 
Other general-purpose masks, such as Randomize and Redact, have more comprehensive partial masking options that can effectively preserve characters at varying offsets and different types of characters. Benefits of partial masking are that the mask data can be more meaningful to the user and therefore more useful. Other important properties, such as statistical distributions, can also be preserved. Dataval has an integrated data browser. It's what we've been using throughout this demo to view original and masked data samples. Some people ask whether the user should be able to see the original data at all. Well, the reality is that the developer of the masking project will need to verify that the masks are performing as expected. So, one way or another, they will need access to at least some samples of original data and the corresponding masked values. So having an integrated data browser is a huge time-saving and productivity boost. As you may have noticed, the browser automatically displays and highlights data that corresponds to the current selection. It's also worth pointing out some additional features, such as specifying which columns to include in the display, and the order in which they should be displayed for maximum usefulness. Of course, this is customizable for each table. Otherwise, the default automatic display will be used. Another useful feature is the filter that will display the rows that are of most interest. For example, if masking a sparse column that has mostly empty or null rows, then a filter can be specified to show only the non-empty rows, rather than seeing a lot of meaningless empty rows. All of these data browser settings are saved with the project, so they'll be there the next time the project is open. The integrated data browser instantly shows a sample of data whenever clicking on a column. It's customizable on a per-table basis to show only some columns and in any order. Filters can also show only the most meaningful rows. These features make it easier and faster to create and validate the most suitable masks. If you have a specific masking requirement that isn't provided by any of the built-in masks, then you can define or call your own masking function using the standard programming SQL for your DBMS, such as TSQL for SQL Server or PLSQL for Oracle. For example, suppose we want to construct an email address based on the masked values of the first name and family name columns. For this, we can use the user SQL value mask. This mask can contain any SQL code that returns a single value. It can be inline code or a call to a user-defined function that you may have on your database server. This example is simple, so some inline TSQL code will do. Dataval adds a couple of extensions to the standard SQL syntax. One of those is the use of curly braces, which means use the masked value of the referenced column. So here we're referencing the masked value of first name column, concatenator with a period, and then the masked value of the family name column, and then at rdomain.com. And now the mask email column contains email addresses using the masked values of the first name and family name columns. Dataval enables the user to define custom masking functions using programmatic SQL, which effectively future-proofs Dataval in terms of the user's masking function requirements. Among the questions we often get are those related to masking coordination and setup type tasks, such as, how do I specify the order of columns to be masked? Such as in the previous example where the person name columns had to be masked before the user SQL mask could access those masked values to build its own masked values. And the answer is, the user doesn't specify mask execution order. Dataval processes all dependencies and performs all masks in the correct order automatically. Do I need to disable triggers, foreign keys, constraints, and so on? And the answer is no, the user doesn't do any of that. Dataval automatically disables, drops, and enables or rebuilds all affected indexes, constraints, triggers, and other database settings. All the user needs to do is simply create the masks, and Dataval will take care of the rest. The benefits of Dataval's automatic handling is that it takes the burden off the user, making it easier to create masking projects in less time. 
It also avoids human error, particularly if there are dependencies and the project is edited sometime later, say in a year from now, by another user who may not be fully aware of the importance of some of those dependencies. Dataval has a reusable components feature. This means you can create predefined masks, macros, SQL queries, datasets, and other definitions. These are then stored in a repository which can be shared among multiple masking projects across the enterprise. Let's look at a simple example. Suppose we have phone numbers in many columns across many databases that we want to mask such that the first three digits and the last two digits are preserved. Note that these digits can start at different offsets because in some places parentheses are used around the area code and in other places there are no parentheses. For this we'll create a mask component based on a randomized mask. We start by creating the mask just as normal. But after we click OK, instead of the mask being assigned to a column, we are asked to name the mask component. This will save the masking definition to a component repository, which is actually a file directory. This directory can be on a file server anywhere on the network. Now when we want to use the mask component, we choose Add Mask, and select Component. We then choose the component we want to use, and that's it. In the masking preview, we can see that the first three and last two digits have been preserved, and the rest have been masked. Reusable masking components saves time in project development and ensures project consistency. DataVal has an integrated sensitive data discovery feature. The discovery search query can be created by selecting individual built-in or user-defined search patterns from the left panel, or a broad pre-configured regional query can be loaded as shown here. After the discovery search is completed, first we see a general information tab. In the classification tab, we can see each of the classifications that had hits. We can expand all for more details, or drill down individually to see specific columns and their data that registered hits. The Performance tab gives confidence levels on each individual hit along with some supporting statistics. The Masking tab gives similar information, but instead of statistics details, it provides proposed masking information. You can operate on each result individually, such as here will immediately move the proposed street address mask into our masking configuration. And we can see in the Masking Summary tab that it has indeed been added. Normally it's recommended to individually review each column and its masking requirements, however in this simple demo we'll just add all remaining proposed masks into the project. Now we will run the project except instead of just previewing the masking, we'll actually overwrite the data with masked values. Our masking project has been completed. There are many other discovery features that you can see in our dedicated discovery demo video available at dataval.com demo. The discovery feature helps the user find sensitive data quickly which assists in more thorough and faster masking project development. Dataval automatically generates detailed reports for masking executions and discovery searches. These can be easily accessed from the reports option on the main menu. They can also be accessed from within the Masking Execution tab's Reports tab. And the Discovery tab's Reports tab. These reports can be useful for compliance. The masking report contains what was masked, how it was masked, and when it was masked. A copy of the masking project is automatically saved together with each report. Here are some of the most common questions we get asked. Can DataVal mask consistently across independent databases? Yes, use deterministic masking. 
provided that the same deterministic settings and same mask configurations are used, then consistent masking is assured, regardless of whether it is multiple occurrences within the same database or in another independent database. It also doesn't matter whether the databases are masked at different times. There is no time limit and there is no mapping data that needs to be saved or shared. Can DataVal be run from the command line? Yes, users typically want this to support masking automation. Please refer to our online user guide for details. Does DataVal support referential integrity? Yes, consistent masking of all columns in foreign key relationships is automatically performed. You just configure a mask on any one column in the dependency tree and DataVal will mask all columns in a dependency automatically. If a dependency exists but there isn't a foreign key defined in the database, then DataVal lets you define a dependency within DataVal that will work exactly like a foreign key but without changing the database schema. Can DataVal mask primary keys? Yes, generally you shouldn't need to as such columns usually don't contain sensitive data, but if you need to, then you can. What are the system requirements of DataVal? DataVal is a simple Java client, although you don't need to have Java installed in your environment because DataVal is delivered with a bundled and pre-configured OpenJDK so it will all work out of the box. DataVal can run anywhere, it does not need its own server, it can even be run on the same server as a DBMS or on a desktop across a network. DataVal does not use much in terms of processing resources, it pushes all masking processing onto the DBMS so your DBMS server will get busy, but DataVal will remain mostly idle because it acts only as a controller during masking. No sensitive data leaves the DBMS while masking. Can DataVal projects be managed by version control? Yes, and quite easily because all DataVal projects and components are simple XML text files. Therefore, these lend themselves very well to any source control system that will track any changes made to any of DataVal's project-related files. We do offer a free community license for DataVal. To get it, you just need to register at DataVal.com. It's free and no obligation. After registering, you can immediately download the DataVal software and get started. Although there are some limitations in the free license, all the features do work and the license never expires. So this is a good, easy first step to review and evaluate whether DataVal would be suitable for your needs. If you need more than what the free license offers, then there are commercial license options. All pricing details are available publicly on our website, meaning that you don't need to register to see pricing. If you'd like to fully evaluate DataVal without any limitations, then we do offer a free 30-day unlimited trial license. Just use the Contact Us form at our website and ask for a trial license. DataVal provides an elegant static data masking implementation. Everything user-facing has been designed to be as simple as possible while implementing the complex supporting operations to be performed automatically in the background by DataVal. Masking projects are easy to define and reusable components help keep projects organized and consistent across the enterprise. All this has been implemented as simple XML text files that can be easily managed by version control systems. Efficiently, DataVal moves the processing workload to the data by leveraging the DBMS server's resources for optimum performance and only minimal resource requirements by DataVal. We publish all relevant information on our website, including licensing and full pricing information, without requiring you to contact a salesperson. So if you have any questions, then please do contact us, and if you'd like to download the software, then you're welcome to do so from our website. Thank you.